Hi, this is your voice. I'm Julia Lokendi. Senator John Bonasek is here to talk about community members who are doing great things in his district. How are you, Senator? Julia, good morning. Mother's Day is coming. Yes. Sunday, so make sure everybody out there tells their mom that they love her. <laughs> yes. Um, I want to talk to you about a very interesting story, exciting story that happened in your uh, district. Uh, back in February, a man ran into the Middletown City Court and opened fire and court officers sprung into action. Take the story from here. Uh, yes. Uh, we had an incident earlier this year on February 8th where a deranged individual with a shotgun who had a grudge against the mayor in the city of Middletown in Orange County, came looking for him. And for some reason, he went into the Middletown city court actually shooting as he walked into the courtroom uh, bent on a killing spree. And uh, there were, the public was in there, the judges, <clears throat> the mayor was not in there at the time, but there were a lot of innocent people with court business. And as a result of the bravery of uh, four Supreme Court officers, two of them uh, returned fire and uh, put this uh, person down. And the only one injured was one of the court officers who took uh, wounds to his arm. But uh, as a result of their heroic action, uh, we honored them in my office with the Liberty Medal uh, the judiciary honored them with the Medal of Valor, and we honored them on the Senate floor. And Julie, this was the first time ever uh, in the court's history that Supreme Court officers were involved in a shooting in the courtroom where they actually, and thank God they were there, yeah. were able to uh, disarm this person and uh, actually the, uh, the, the, they actually killed him. Uh, but, uh, you know, it could have been literally uh, 10, 20, 30 people could have been killed because this person didn't care who he was shooting at. You know, you read about these things. Someone goes to the post office or they go into a fast food and they just open up firing. This was that kind of situation because the, nothing provoked the individual as he walked in uh, uh, coming into the courtroom shooting a shotgun. He's so, uh, and then they deserve all of the honors and accolades that they received by the judiciary, by the Senate, and uh, it was a good day for them. It was a great day for us. Yeah, you um, spoke to their credit for thwarting the uh, deadly rampage and protecting the public. Let's listen to your comments from the Senate floor. Okay. I'm honored to stand here today uh, to thank four heroes from the Supreme Court Court Officers Association. Uh, accompanying them today are parents, wives, children uh, who are sharing this moment with our four heroes. Uh, many of you may not realize, but today is Lord Day. And uh, at 12 o'clock, there was a ceremony in the Court of Appeals where these four officers were given a Medal of Valor by the judiciary uh, for their actions. And I did have an opportunity to speak briefly. And what struck me about Lord Day is when we think of Lord Day, the common person, they probably think of Judge Judy on television, watching two people fighting it out. Or you may have a justice uh, giving elegant words or a court decision or referring to laws that we pass in this distinguished legislature. But it's all meaningless unless you had the physical presence to enforce the law. You have our army that has a physical presence. It enforces the laws of our land. We have a police SWAT team that enforces the law and the safety of our residents. On February 8th, 2012, we had the physical presence of four individuals who got in harm's way 
of a deranged man who came to the courthouse with a shotgun intent on a killing spree. And um, one of these officers was wounded, and they killed that perpetrator, and they saved the lives of many people in that courtroom. And I'm sure a couple of those judicial employees that are sitting up in the chambers today. It's for their courage, their valor, their training that we are indebted to these four heroes. On Friday, I gave them the Liberty Medal, which is the highest medal that we can give civilians at the Senate level. And as today, as I indicated, they were honored by the judiciary. So I'm proud uh, to thank them for keeping the courtroom safe. Uh, and uh, we are forever indebted for your courage. Before I ask the four to stand up, I'm also joined by four other uh, distinguished officers. Number one, John Strandberg, excuse me, Chuck, President of Supreme Court Office Association. John, why don't you stand up? Richard Poitavin, who's also the Recording Secretary, Chief Mary Ellen Murray, she's of the Ninth Judicial District, and Major Brian Nigron of the Ninth Ju Judicial District. I'd ask you all four to sit and ask my four heroes to stand up. I ask you all to congratulate them and recognize them. So this was uh, fast action. Uh, it was, and you know, I alluded to the Liberty Medal, and it's something that we give out to uh, give out by uh, a senator can give it out. As I said, the highest award to a civilian, and I think in my 14 years as a state senator, I've given maybe 10 out, and I usually give them posthumously mm -hmm. uh, to a soldier who was killed in action or police officers, uh, there were two that were killed in action in my district. So they're rarely given. And uh, so uh, it was an honor for me 